episode, we are going to take a look at um, another example of irregular verbs, which uh, is um, tricky, like many other uh, types of irregular verbs anyway. And that one is um, choose, choose. The way, you know, it changes when uh, it uh, moves from the present tense to the past, to the continuous, and uh, also the present and past, you know, participle demands more attention than many of us, you know, give it. It is um, the double O S he, which is the base form, uh, the present tense form, you know, choose. I, you know, I want to choose something. They always choose this and not that. Uh, that is the present, you know, the present tense. The past tense form is uh, the one that now carries a single O, that single O, as in uh, choose. Yesterday, I chose two out of the books. There, we have choose, the past tense of choose. Choose, chose, which is the, you know, chose is the past tense. The continuous, the present or the past continuous is the one that is the one that uh, describes an action that is ongoing, which is also going to end at, uh, at some point. Is the one that has the ing, you know, choosing, choosing, choosing. I am choosing one out of the two right away. I'm not going to delay again. I've started the process of making that choice. So that, that one is uh, the one that has the ing. They are choosing a candidate tomorrow. In other words, that one can also uh, is a situation. The present continuous tense performs the function of a, you know, of, of a future tense, something that has not happened. But what I'm saying uh, most importantly is that um, the ING form is the one that expresses the progressive you know, action, the action that is going on. The last one is the form that ends with EN, and that is the present, the one that represents the present participle or the past participle. I have chosen my partner. And nobody can change it. I have, you know, chosen. When that action has been, you know, has been done, and you want to use in the present or past participle, uh, uh, you know, situation, you go with en. Please always watch the way you use uh, that verb and its various forms. Thank you very much, and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Oh, man.